Yes. So in change of tenses, uh, we are starting from here. So in the direct speech, when simple present tense is used in the direct speech, what does it change into? It changes into simple past. See the example. She said, I want to play. So this is simple present tense. We are reporting that she is saying, I want to play. So what it has changed into? She said that she wanted to play. So want over here has changed into wanted. Got it? So simple present tense has changed into simple past. You can also see the present of that is there, right? That is present over here as a conjunction. Then you can see that she was the subject of the reporting verb set, right? And I is present as the first person pronoun following everything. So in all these examples, we will see these things. I is the first person pronoun present. She is the subject of the reporting verb. So over here, we can see that this I has changed into she over here. She said that she. And simple present tense has changed into simple past. So want has changed into wanted to play. Then let's see the next one. What happens to present continuous tense? Present continuous tense changed, changes into past continuous. See, Rana said, I am studying. So now what happens? Rana said that. So that again has been used as the conjunction. Now you can see I is present. So now it is going to change according to Rana, right? Rana is the subject of the reporting verb said. So again, this I has changed into he because it is now being used as a pronoun. We are not going to use Rana twice, right? So this I has changed into he again. Rana said that he was studying. So the present continuous form that is am studying has changed into was studying, which is the past continuous form. All right. Now see what happens to simple past tense. Simple past tense changes into past perfect tense. So, so this changes into past perfect. Poonam said, I worked hard. So worked over here, you can clearly see a simple past tense, right? And Poonam is the subject of the reporting verb said. So Poonam said, first of all, that as the conjunction has been used, Poonam said that. And now this I present over here, which is the first person pronoun has changed according to the subject Poonam. And therefore it has become she over here. Just like Rana became he over here, Poonam has become she over here. So Poonam said that she had worked hard. So you can clearly see that simple past worked has changed into past perfect had worked. Got it? Now see what happens to present perfect. So present perfect also changes into past perfect. So simple past changes into past perfect and present perfect also changes into past perfect. Let's see. He said, I have finished my work. So now, first of all, see, he is the subject of the reporting verb and have finished is the present perfect tense, right? So what is happening in the indirect speech? You can see that, uh, first of all, that has been used, which is the uh, conjunction. He said that and had finished. So have finished, which is the present perfect, has changed into past perfect, had finished. And you can see I, that is the first person pronoun present, has changed according to he, which is the subject of the reporting verb. So it has changed into he. So he said that he had finished his work. <laughs> now we come to the case of past perfect. What happens to past perfect then? Past perfect tense also re remains as past perfect only. So you can see simple past changes into past perfect, present perfect changes into past perfect, and past perfect remains past perfect. So in a lot of cases, it is past perfect only, right? 
So what happens? They said we had come late last night. So it changes into, first of all, we take the conjunction that they is present as the subject of the reporting verb said, and we is the first person pronoun that is present. So what is going to happen? It is going to change according to they. So we present in the direct speech changes into they in the indirect speech. So they said that they had come. So had come, had come remains the same because past perfect remains past perfect only. No changes take place when it is past perfect. So they said that they had come late last night. Understood how the changes are taking place? All right. Now we will see two more uh, tenses are there. Past perfect continuous, uh, basic, uh, present perfect continuous, and past continuous. These two are left. So in the present perfect continuous, it changes into past perfect continuous. And past continuous also changes into past perfect continuous. So you can see that all the past cases and all the past perfect cases, they are changing into past perfect. And when continuous is being used with past, it is changing into past perfect continuous. If you will closely observe, you are going to see this. First of all, let's see how it is changing. Then I will uh, give you this observation. She said, I have been waiting for three hours. So this is present perfect continuous. So have been waiting. How is it changing? It is changing into past perfect continuous and becoming had been waiting. Then you can see that she is the subject of the reporting verb said. So and I is the first person pronoun that is present. So this I has changed into she. She said that she had been waiting. And that has been used as the conjunction. Then you can see present perfect continuous changing into past perfect continuous. Now, past continuous. Past continuous also changes into past perfect continuous. They said we were walking along the beach. So were walking is past continuous and had been walking is past perfect continuous. So past continuous has again changed into past perfect continuous. They is the subject of the reporting verb. We is the first person pronoun that is present. So what is happening? We has changed into they over here. That has been used as the conjunction. So it becomes they said that they had been walking along the beach. Got it. So this is how all the tenses are going to change. So one very uh, important thing you should have noticed if you have observed it closely, that we have not discussed any future tense, any type of future tense, whether it is simple future or future continuous or future perfect. We have not used any future tense over here. All we have used is present tenses and the past tense, right? So you will find that whenever we are using past, for example, simple past is there, past perfect is there. So it is changing into past perfect only, whether it is simple past or past perfect. Then if it is past continuous, then it is changing into past perfect continuous, right? And then you, you will find that uh, for the present perfect, this is also changing into past perfect and present perfect continuous is also changing into past perfect continuous. Apart from that, simple present is changing into simple past and present continuous is changing into past continuous. So you will find that uh, we do not have any changes in the past perfect continuous because we are already changing uh, everything into past perfect continuous. So we do not need it, right? And similarly, we are finding that the past perfect continuous remains in past perfect, past perfect remains in past perfect. And for the present tense, all the four types are getting changed. Simple present into simple past, present continuous into past continuous, 
present perfect into past perfect and past perfect present perfect continuous into past perfect continuous. So you will find only seven cases are there and all the future cases are missing because they remain the same. Only the change in modal will take place. That is will. Will is used in future tense. So will will change into would. Apart from that, everything will remain the same in the future tenses. That is why it has not been covered with. Now see the changes in modals. I told you will, can, shall, all these things are modal, right? So let's see how they change accordingly in the indirect speech. She said, I will meet you later. So over here now we see that she is present as the subject in the reporting verb and I is the first person pronoun. So we can clearly see that it has changed into she. And will, which is the model, has changed into would. So will has become would. She said that she would meet and see. Because uh, uh, we were talking about will meet you. So it has become meet me later. Are you seeing it? So because uh, she was talking to me only, the person was I only, she was saying I will meet you. So in the indirect speech, it has changed into me. She said that she would meet me later. All right. Now see, can, can has become could in the indirect speech. So will has become would and can has become could. See, Mohan was the subject of the reporting verb said and I was the first person pronoun that was present. So you can clearly see I has changed into he because Mohan is a male person. So it has changed accordingly and become he. So Mohan said that he could go. Now see the last one. Jaya said I shall come later. See, I have told you that for shall, it is always used with the first person pronoun. That is I and we. If the first person pronoun is not there, then we do not use shall, then we only use will. So over here, you will find that when we change it into indirect speech, Jaya, which is the subject of the reporting verb said. So accordingly, we are changing it into she. This I is getting changed into she. So Jaya said that she would. So because now she, uh, I has changed into she, so we are not going to use shall. So it will not become should. Instead, it will become would. So Jaya said that she would come later. So models are changing. Will is changing into would. Can is changing into could. All right. So this is how the models are changing. Now this is the change in the time expressions. I have told you to learn it. There is hardly anything to explain over here, right? In the tenses I explained, but, but this is a thing which is purely of learned. So now I am uh, going straight away to the exercises. We are starting with Rishim. All right. Yes, Rishim. He said that he liked this house. Yes. He said that he... He liked this house. Okay. So we will write, he said that he... Did you say like or liked? I couldn't understand. Sir, so liked. Yes. Because simple present is going to change into simple past. So it will be he said that he liked. But see one more thing. This changes into that in the indirect speech. That is also something very important. Remember this. So okay, he said that he liked that house. Okay. Okay, sir. All right. So first of all, uh, let me show you the changes that are taking place. You have answered it correctly. He was the subject that was present over here as uh, the subject of the reporting verb. I was the first person pronoun. 
so it can be seen that i has changed into he he said that he like like was the simple present tense so it has changed into simple past which is like that has been used as a conjunction and this has changed into that so you can see a lot of changes have taken place and this is exactly what happens when we change direct speech into indirect all right yes sir sir so, sagar said again last night so yes, the answer sir. will be sagar said that it had raining the last night it had rained the last uh, rained last night so okay so tell me again i am going to write sagar said that that it had raining it had rained it had rained see because now we are talking about simple past and we know simple past gets changed into past perfect right so we will say it had rained in order to make it past perfect sagar said that it had rained but we are not going to use last night exactly follow the time expressions that are there last night is going to change into the previous night that is why i am telling you remember all the time expressions otherwise you are going to go wrong okay so sagar said that it had rained the previous night understood yes sir thank you okay uh, i think i should point out the changes also present over here so sagar was the subject of the reporting verb said so but uh, see over here we have it and i have told you that it is the third person pronoun right he she it they they are the third person pronouns and they do not change at all this was the rule so you can see that it has remained it only it has not changed because it is the third person pronoun then that has been used as the conjunction rained was the simple past tense so it has changed into past perfect and last night has changed into the previous night right okay now pranjal good morning teacher good morning yes sir the answer will be tara said that yes she had met him 5 years before yes so what is happening over here is we are starting with tara said that now see because now we have first person pronoun again right you can see first person pronoun is there so we are going to change it this i is going to change it according to tara which is the subject of the reporting verb said so we are going to say tara said that she because tara is a female so we are going to write tara said that she and met is the first person pronoun uh, for uh, simple past so we are going to write she had met him 5 years ago what is it is going to change into yes. said 5 years before yes 5 years before correct so let's see the changes that have taken place over here first of all we can see that i was present as the first person pronoun so naturally it has changed into she because of tara present and uh, then we have met which is the simple past tense so it had to be changed into past perfect so it has changed into had met then we have 5 years ago which is a time expression which has changed into 5 years before and that has been used as the conjunction got it okay siyanshi so the answer will be my mother told me that yes. she was not feeling well that day she was not, not feeling, feeling well feeling that well. day okay so we are starting my mother 
told me that she was not feeling well that day. So now over here, let's see the changes that are taking place. First of all, you can see that my mother is there. So my mother naturally is going to become she, right? A female is there. I has changed into she, right? Then we can also see that today is present. So it is not going to be like that only. So today has changed into that day, right? And we are, we will, we are also seeing that am feeling is present, which is present continuous and present continuous should change into past continuous. So am feeling has changed into was feeling. So my mother said to me, I am not feeling well today has changed into told me that she was not feeling well that day. Okay. So you will have to keep in mind all the changes. The changes regarding the change in pronoun, then change in tense, change in the time expression, everything will have to be taken into consideration while changing direct speech into indirect speech. All right. Now we move to the next set of sentences. All right. Yes, Navya. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Rajesh said that he doesn't like soft swim because they are bad for him. Hello? Can you hear me? Yes, yes, I can hear you. Yes. Rajesh said that. Rajesh said that he doesn't like. He oh. doesn't like. Uh, first of all, tell me uh, what happens to simple present tense. Simple past. Yes, simple past. So, what should be the simple past tense that he? He did. Yes, it will change into didn't. Now you are right. He didn't. Now tell like me. Soft. Yes, he didn't like soft drinks. Then? Because they were bad for him. Because they were. So basically, see, R is again simple present. So it is going to change into were. Right? So because they were. And then we are going to use bad for health. Right? I'm going to expand it so it comes in one line only. Okay. So what is happening over here? Rajesh said that he didn't like soft drinks because they were bad for health. So now see the changes that have taken place. First of all, we will find that Rajesh is present as the subject of the reporting verb over here. So naturally this I is going to change. So it changes into he. Then this do is don't is present, which is simple present. So it changes into simple past didn't, right? Then we are seeing R is present, which is again simple present. So it has again changed into simple past. Right. So they were bad for health. Got it? How we have changed everything? The tenses and the pronoun. Okay. Yes, Pratishtha. Good morning, teachers. Yes. The doctor said that he couldn't attend to this patient because this is this was a case of an accident and he need to call the police first. Okay. So, repeat it. I am going to write it now. The doctor. The doctor said that he couldn't attend. Okay. So, see. Uh, can't is basically a, a case of simple present and basically it is also a modal and can changes into code, right? 
so this is how we are going to change it the doctor said that now you can see i is present so it is going to change according to the doctor so because he is more commonly used so according to the usage we are going with he but if you want you can also go with she he or she both can be fine there is no problem right so the doctor said that he then pratishtha couldn't, couldn't yes. attend couldn't to, attend to the patient see not the to this patient where the is written tell me so what should be there couldn't to this patient no to that I, patient. yes yes keep everything in mind he couldn't attend to that patient after that because that was a case yes see over here also this is written so this is also going to change into that because that now is is present which is going to change into was so that was a case then was a case of an accident yes and he need to call the police force and he need and he needed yes to and he needed to call the police yeah. first so a lot of changes are there in the sentence right let me expand this all right so see what is happening over here first of all uh, you will find that the doctor is present so i told you it is your choice so he i have used in place of i so the doctor said that he then you can see modal can has been used so can't has been changed into couldn't right in the past so he couldn't then attend to uh, this this patient has changed into that patient you can see that patient because this is a case has changed into that and is has changed into was a case of an accident and he so over here also again i was there so i has again changed into he he needed need is there which is simple present so again it has changed into simple past so he needed to call the police first so you can see how many changes are taking place so in one sentence only all your knowledge is getting tested right and if you do anything wrong it will be considered as wrong so be very careful while you are changing direct uh, uh, direct speech into indirect yes aryan good morning sir good morning the old man said it is younger that make a food simplicity whether we are young or old richard sir the old man said that it was okay. go slowly uh, we will go together the old man said it that said, yes it was younger see now it is present which is the third person pronoun so it is going to remain it only right ha huh, yes it it was younger okay it was hunger so is has changed into was right that makes sir food seem tasty okay so uh, should make be changed makes should makes be changed aryan what tense is makes that made a food yes it will change change into simple past that made our food seem tasty our food then our food seem tasty tasty then whether we were young or old rich or poor yes so uh, r is changing into v so whether we were we were young or old rich or poor young or old rich or poor so basically we are talking about some general condition that is present over here 
that is why you can see that uh, v is not changing over here right v is uh, remaining as it is so the old man said that it was hunger so you can see that is is present over here so is has changed into was then you can see it is present over here so it has remained it only the old man said that it was hunger then makes has been changed into made that made a food seem tasty right then what happens whether we were young old rich or poor got it so uh, i have told you that uh, that is why we has not been changed over here okay so while reporting the statement so the reporting verb said may be retained or it may be changed into ch told right so we can also use told sometimes or we can even keep it as said only when we change a direct speech into an indirect one so there is no hard and fast rule that you have to change or you do not have to change sometimes it can be changed or if you want to keep it as said then you can do that some other verbs that may be used are added admitted assured argued complained explained promised according to the emotions that you, you uh, comprehend from the direct speech that what a person is saying from there if you think that the person is complaining about something then you can change the reporting verb into complained if you think a person is explaining something or promising something then you can write in the indirect speech that that person explained or promised or complained right so you can use these words also as your reporting verbs in the indirect speech sometimes it is possible to omit the conjunction that so i have told you that most of the times you are going to find that the conjunction that is present but sometimes it becomes possible for us if we write it in a different way then that can be omitted also you will see the example ram said to shyam i can help you in physics so now what happens now we have used assured over here so ram is basically giving shyam an assurance that he can help him in physics so ram assured shyam of his help in physics so see this is a particular way of writing where you can find that no that is present right we have omitted that from here we are simply saying ram assured shyam of his help in physics now see this one ram told shyam so now if we come back to our traditional style where we use told and said then you can find then that that is present right because you can see that can help was present over here so we have used could help over here right but over here you will find that the entire style has been changed we are not using could or also we are not using that also we have said ram assured shyam of his help in physics but if we write this way we can write ram told shyam that he could because can is the modal so it has changed into could help him in physics all right so this is also the way we can do it let's see some more cases reporting question so when we want to report questions in the indirect speech then what we do when we report yes no question yes no questions means the questions to which the answer should be in a yes or a no okay we are talking about those questions so here yes no questions we use if or whether when we try to report them for example she said to me are you coming so i am going to say yes or no right so if this is the question then we are going to say she asked me if i was coming or she asked me whether i was coming 
so in cases where a question has been asked and the answer to which will be in a yes or a no then in those cases we use if or whether so we can say she asked me if i was coming or whether i was coming yes then when we report wh questions wh questions means the questions which start with what which where right the wh question we use verbs like asked inquired etc so father asked me where are you going so while writing it in the indirect we can say father asked to me where i was going right so you can see r has changed into was right because me was there and me is the object of the reporting verb and i have told you that uh, for the second person pronouns we see the object of the reporting verb which is me over here so it has changed into i me has changed into i so father asked me where i was going so r has changed into was you has become into i because me was the object so me naturally should change into i so this is how it has been changed so you can see that asked has been used we can even say father inquired me where i was going right so in cases of uh, the questions which are uh, start with what where or things like that we can start with asked and inquired okay so these are the general concepts that i am telling you now we come to the imperatives imperatives i have already told you they mean that when you are trying to give some command or you are trying to make some request those are the imperative sentences so in the indirect speech when imperative sentences are there then we use ordered requested advised warned yes so we use these words when we try to change imperative sentences into indirect let's see the man said to the salesman go away so this is basically some kind of order you are giving that go away right so we will say the man ordered the salesman to go away understood so we are using because this is a sort of command so we can use order the boy said to them please wait here till i return so now by looking at please only we can understand that this is a request being made right so we can say the boy requested them to wait till he returned so basically the boy was the subject of the reporting verb that is present and i is the first person pronoun so it has changed the boy has changed into he then you can see return is there so it has changed into returned right so the boy requested them to wait here has changed into there right this changes into that so everything changes so here has changed into there so the boy requested them to wait there till he returned so uh, for imperatives you can see that if it is a command we can say warned ordered if it is a request then we can say requested advised if it is a sort of an advice right so we can use these words accordingly while reporting the imperatives okay so the last one we are doing now uh, we will solve the exercise in the next class reporting exclamation so when there are exclamatory sentences present so when we report exclamations and wishes the reporting verb said changes to what exclaimed wished prayed blessed so accordingly whatever is there in the sentence we will try to pick the reporting verbs according to that so the nature of the sentence is very important in this case you will see it in the example interjections such as oh alas oh no my goodness they are removed but the emotions are conveyed by using expressions such as exclaimed with joy exclaimed with sorrow so the interjection part is removed but if it is a 
<clears throat> happy emotion then we use exclaimed with joy if it is a sad emotion like alas oh no then we can say exclaimed with sorrow okay see the example he said hurra we have won the match so how is it changing he exclaimed with joy because this is showing happiness right so exclaimed with joy we have won because he was present as the subject so v is now going to change into they they then have one is the present perfect tense so naturally it is going to change into past perfect so had one is they so he exclaimed with joy that they had won the match now mahima wished if there was some sorrow you could have said uh, like alas we lost the match right he could have said he uh, alas we have lost the match so we would have said he exclaimed with sorrow that they had lost right then if it would have changed like that mahima said i wished i lived in the mountains so i wish is present so we can say mahima wished that now we are going to change this i according to mahima so it changes into she right so this is a wish being made so lived it has been written like that only mahima wished that she lived in the mountain right because this is a hypothetical situation so this simple past is not getting changed into past perfect so don't get confused so that is why it remains lived only mahima wished that she lived in the mountain all right so these are the basic concepts uh, i uh, if there are some problems we will discuss the problems in the next class and then we will start with the exercises because today we don't have any time so i am stopping the class over here all right thank you ma'am and thank you to all the students